Assalamualaikum Hi everybody Today I want to make an update on my human motor project Here you can see the uh, motor running I want to turn off the uh, power supply Okay. First I'm going to turn on the uh, light. I'm going to show you what I did on this motor. First um, I think I'm going to tell you the uh, setup I have here two different um, power supplies for this one is for this uh, transistors I have two transistors here and also for this um, photo interrupter okay and the uh, bottom one is for this um, capacitors I have four capacitors here and I have um, four minus terminals and one plus terminal on each of these uh, terminals I have a uh, 470 microfarad capacitor so I have four of them this is actually my uh, plasma ignition um, circuit Okay, and then on this side I have a uh, 20 watt two hundred and thirty volts light bulb as a load. And it is powered by the uh, back EMF of this um, coil. You see the uh, diode here. Okay. Now I'm going to show you the uh, detail. I use this um, photo interrupter and it is installed here okay The signal of this interrupter is uh, inverted. I mean, if you have this blocker um, on this position, the uh, output signal become low. Okay, that's why I. Uh, I use this um, transistor as an inverter 
and then the signal will be used by this MOSFET transistor. Okay. And the uh, plus um, terminal from the capacitor is connected to the uh, top terminal of the uh, coil this one here and then the uh, bottom terminal is connected to the uh, this MOSFET this is the uh, bottom cable bottom terminal from the uh, coil okay and I can show you the uh, voltage of this capacitor I will charge it first to for example 100 100 volts okay and then Okay, you can see there is 130 volt DC here. There is slightly uh, different voltage on each um, capacitor. Okay, and the uh, difference from the uh, previous setup was the uh, input voltage um, on my previous video you can see that the uh, input, input voltage only 10 volts and I don't use I didn't use any uh, um, sensor or trigger for it I, I just um, connect the uh, uh, cable on the uh, shaft directly and then I wanted to um, make the pulse shorter so I want to make something like this okay this was the uh, first setup and then I want to increase the uh, voltage so that I can get the uh, shorter pulse and I uh, use this um, hole sensor okay and I have this trigger here and it didn't work why because the uh, this coil if it's powered with high voltage i mean 100 volt voltage 
um, it creates a um, strong mag magnetic field um, around the uh, around here and also here the uh, sensor was here okay and this whole sensor um, receive um, this magnetic field as trigger just like this from this one okay first it, 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 it is triggered by this trigger and the uh, coil was on and then as this coil was on the magnet from this coil activates again this whole sensor that's why I move to this uh, to this um, photo interrupter okay and what I found was that the uh, magnetic field is um, scattered everywhere and the uh, magnetic field is not from the uh, not from the uh, oh sorry not from this uh, permanent magnet but from the coil itself okay and I can feel the uh, the pulse magnetic pulse using this uh, small Dim magnets. I will show you. I will turn on the motor. Okay. And then let me start the motor. By holding this here, you can see I will turn off the uh, power supply here, and you can see that the uh, magnet stops vibrating. Transistor going just now. Let me check it. Yep. So I think. Um, yeah, this transistor is uh, destroyed, so uh, I think I have to find another way to power this uh, motor. And yeah, I think this human motor is not that good because the uh, magnetic field, the pulse is um, everywhere. 
I think it should be uh, concentrated in in the motor itself and not outside of this uh, housing okay I think that's it for now my update and see you on my next video bye bye